just coming into this area, I've got a man uh, come in. Um, I feel like the entrance was different then, um, but and the bar, but he passed from a fall uh, um, and he banged his head because I can feel a taste of blood coming down here. It was not a fight like people thought. Thank you. Take my top then. So please watch out back. Um, he took. He's saying that it, they thought he was in a fight. Um, this was within 10, 15 years of this opening. Um, he was tiddly, he said in my but no, because I, I can feel his intoxication. Um, come on, give him a name please. George. I got with the gentleman. I, I feel like he would have been in his 50s, mid 50s, um, that he's shown me. Bald, slight balding hair. I've been there for um, a lady as well, and she's showing me her, her maybe a little bit taller than me, really curvy. Uh, back here um, and a really bubbly personality um, you said earlier that you thought she was in a red, dre red dress um, she showed me more in a red business suit um, kind of attire um, and I don't know whether she was the local mayor or MP of the town. Hi, so um, I'm asking what else I've got and I picked up on uh, the energy use of a female. Uh, she showed me herself as uh, a little bit taller than me, really big curly curly hair, going to about here. Um, um, uh, in a business type suit, so Dean said that he could see her in a red outfit. I think it's more of a business suit, and I feel like I'm either the mayor or the MP of the town, um, or the, the district. So she's coming in in, in sort of her, her role rather than anything else. Um, but with her. Um, there's something to do with her breathing. I don't know whether she um, suffered my only with a form of asthma because of smoking. I don't know. She's very articulate and really, really good with words and uh, getting the best, trying to get the best on his breath. Um, she's also showing me her being quite emotional as well. Um, so she had a really emotional uh, side to her as well. Uh, she was misjudged because I think she was so stern that people misjudged her personality from being stern for her work to being actually a kind, caring soul to the community. So I think she was all a little bit misjudged um, during her time. I feel like this is the 1920s, the 40s time period. Um, maybe even the 50s, 60s. Um, no, 56, 56. She keeps going and shouting me, 56. She's 
she, she, she's not here all the time. She does not come to the Ivy Hill all the time. Um, she's probably here um, once a month. And when she first started coming, a lot of the men disliked her coming, even though it was for a professional role. It didn't have short fur, that's what I'm trying to get at, you know, like a uh, Rottweiler or anything. It, it had a uh, male dog, very, very calm temperament. He was a crossbreed, definitely a crossbreed. Um, so kind of, he had his own bowl there, um, and just would just stay there. Didn't matter what went off around the dog, he just stayed put. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if people still feel the dog because um, I feel like if I put my hand down you'd get that as if do a dog's brushed against you or if a dog's licked you um, but also I feel like he like mm, so put tug at your top just to let you know that Come on, give him, give me a bit lower then. I don't know why, I don't know whether that's the owner's name or his name because I keep getting told the name Benji. But I feel like he had the personality of like Lassie. Um, you know, a really kind, caring dog. He had that personality that Lassie the dog had. This room I'm picking up on uh, two males. Um, one male is the, the man with the hood, the, the light monk-like um, thing. And I'm still getting that Father Tom. So I'm not sure whether Father Tom came across this area and that's why he comes here or what. But I'm still getting the Father Tom that we had at first castle um i've got another gentleman coming in he's showing himself quite taller than me really um hairy here with a mustache and beard quite a a, a what do you call it chisel jawline sharp chisel jawline 
Um, he, he, I feel again with him, he's showing me himself wanting to be taller than what he is. But even then, I, I just don't feel like he was that tall. Um, he's a bit of a stomper. Um, and he, 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 he does a lot of noise. Um, I've also got a young lad. Um, and I don't feel like he was very old when he passed. And I want to say he's connected with this century, but the like, in the last 30 years, that he would have drunk in here. He's showing himself with, with, um, hair coming on, you know, like the old face and haircut type thing. Um, but with a, with a little bit of a flat cap, what to call him, baseball cap type hat, hat on. Um, but it also looks like, you know, the, the racing hats, that they were quite big. It, it, it was very much like that. He was quite petite as well. So I don't think the racing is connected with him. He's not gone in very strong. He, he is very, 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 very breathless. I also need to bring in the fireman that works from about where that snooker sign is there, uh, in, around, down, and down to sort of the ladies' toilet.